Hi friends, I hope you're doing great. It's me Nikki here and I am here today to share with you a video on how I clean and maintain my DSLR camera. You know, if you use your DSLR camera a lot, it's important that you keep it clean, keep dust off of it because it affects your video and it affects your photos. And I'm going to show you the simple process and the simple tools that I use to do this. I recently, not too long ago, did a video on uh, my kind of camera bag organization. I'll link that video below. And in that video, I asked if anyone was interested in me sharing how I clean my camera and I got some responses. So that's what prompted this video. And so I hope you will enjoy and let's jump right in. Okay friends, the first thing I recommend is a camera cleaning kit. You can get this at your camera store. I order mines off Amazon.com. I'll put a link below if you're interested. It ran about, I believe, $10 to $12. But in that kit includes your lens cleaner, your air blower, your lens pen, your microfiber cloth, and your soft brush. Everything you need. Okay, the first thing you want to do is take that soft brush and this is a very important part because you want to get all of those particles out of your camera, off of your camera. And again, we're only doing the outside maintenance of the camera. I'll do a separate video showing you how to clean your interior of your camera. But you're just going to brush all around the camera to get any debris off, any dust off. A lot of times if you take beach pictures, you might have sand or you not even on the beach, but just simple use, you can get just little particles on there. And it's important to get these off with the brush prior to doing any white or anything like that because you don't want to scratch your camera you don't want to scratch your lens because you paid a lot of money for this piece of equipment and it's important to just kind of do this dust over and do it in, over the entire camera every part of this camera you just want to kind of knock off anything that you see here that is little debris and this is the first thing that you want to do now you see here in the crevices you have a little bit there you can just brush all of that out you want to brush around any of the corners you just want to just give it a nice brush over you're then going to take your lens cleaner, and I actually use mine to clean my entire camera. I don't get anything different. I use it for the um, lens and for the camera. And so you take your microfiber cloth, and you're going to spray a few sprays on there, and then you're going to wipe down the entire camera. You want to just kind of wipe all around, especially those areas that are high use, you know, those areas that you're always touching and holding. And so you just kind of want to make sure to get all your buttons cleaned and just wipe down around the camera so it's just really a just complete wipe down of your DSLR camera. Now one thing that you do want to be very careful of when you're doing this is that when you're wiping down your camera one thing that you just do not want to do is you do not want to spray any of this spray directly on your camera. That's a big no-no and you can damage your uh, piece of equipment here. So just always on your cloth and then wipe down and you want to wipe down every area and just give it just a nice scrub down and you'll see it start to come clean from that point and so especially like I said those high traffic areas your viewfinder on the back and just really wipe it well Now sometimes it can be hard to get up in here and so this is kind of a difficult area here and so what I do is I then bring out that pin and that pin has on one side another soft brush that you can use and the other side here is what I use as a lens cleaner that I use and I just kind of go inside of that little piece there because it makes it easier to just get that glass there because sometimes you can't really get in there with your cloth. Now I take the blower after I wipe everything down and it just gives you great air and I use this when I'm filming also just to kind of dust off any air before I start taping but you want to just blow all around the camera and I just choose to do this because it helps me get any of that extra debris debris that I may have missed when I was wiping it down it just kind of gives gives it a once over now then I move into my lens and I put some more of that lens cleaner on it and I start from the center of my lens and then in a circular motion I just wipe around my entire lens and then it just becomes clean it's just a lens cleaner so you'll see that it works very well so you want to make sure to use your microfiber cloth and I use a new piece a, a you know a different piece than from what I've wiped down the entire cloth from and just simply blow down your lens and your camera and you're good to go so I hope you have enjoyed seeing the process for cleaning my DSLR camera. This right here is my Nikon here and I have two DSLRs. I have the Nikon which we've had this one 
for um, several years. I We got it when we lived overseas in England in the UK because we did a lot of traveling and we wanted a good camera. And it really is a great camera. And then when I started doing YouTube videos and things like that, I upgraded to the Canon T3i. So that's what I'm recording with right now. And I absolutely love that camera. It has been doing great. And I'm still learning some things about it, but for the most part, it does me perfect. I love it. And so those are the two that I use. And I have a smaller Panasonic that I've had for uh, several years, uh, a point and shoot that I use for kind of vlogging and things like that. So in the comments, let me know what kind of camera you have or, or what type of camera you use and how you like it. I would love to hear. And if you have some, any questions, again, let me know. Definitely, if you're not a part of my other channel, At Home With Nikki, I'll link that below. That's my main channel where I share a lot of home organization, home decor, cooking, home DIYs, all kinds of things. And that's a very fun channel. So definitely go and I would love for you to subscribe and join us over there. And then also, if you not have not subscribed to this channel, I would love to have you. So please subscribe. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.